What's going on everybody? It's your boy Big O back in the building with another brand new video. Just like to take a second to say thank you to everyone who's tuning in. I hope everyone is having a glorious day. Getting right into it. As you can see, we have my Pacific Coast Giant Mexican Must Turtle. And she's as spunky as ever. And what I'd like to speak about today is kind of a huge update as to what's really uh, kind of what's going on with, with the animals in the, the turtle room and everything. And if you've seen my recent videos, you'll probably know that I kept my animals in the spare bedroom of the place that I was staying at. And really the update is that I've moved to a new place and my turtles are no longer in, in, the, in, a, in a spare bedroom. They're actually in the living area of my new apartment. And we're just going to show off the layout and how I have everything set up. Everything's really the same enclosure wise. It's all the same enclosures, same animals, same filters, same equipment. Just a new place. So it's, uh, as I said, everything is the same. Same tank, same lighting. We got the FX6 uh, going strong. Best filter I've ever owned in my life. As you can see behind the tank is the door to my patio, or balcony rather, and the um, only concern I have with that is the, uh, all the extra sunlight that's going to be kind of making contact with this enclosure may cause an algae issue in the future, but um, so far so good. And if that, and if that does pop up, I'll, you know, I have... I have contingencies in place for that, so I'm not really too worried about it. But it is something to keep an eye on. Moving right along, if we turn around, we'll see the two 40 gallon breeders side by side on the same stand just as they were before. And on the left side, of course, is my Adult male Scambia map turtle. He's cooling out. I did actually change one thing in this tank, if you notice. I actually added sand to this one. I think it looks great. Um, I think the only enclosure I, I won't be adding sand to is the enclosure we just saw a few moments ago with the giant Mexican musk because she's she's just gonna kick it all over the place and. I don't want to risk damaging the impeller on the FX6 because that filter is way too expensive and I really, really do enjoy using it. So I'm going to go ahead and not add sand to her enclosure. But there he is. He's doing well. And again, it's the same setup, same filter, same everything. Just a new place. And again, we have another 40 gallon breeder with my strike neck musks. There's the male. He's doing well. He is not feeling the camera though. And can't really see the other two. Oh, there's the big female. Let me try to get close to her. She's the least sort of sketchiest one. She doesn't really, uh, Looks like there's two turtles there, but that's actually her reflection. Um, yeah, she's the least sketchiest one. She doesn't really mind when I approach. The other female is getting a lot more used to me too, but um, still slightly sketched out when I approach, especially with the cameras. Something about the phones and the cameras that they really seem to not like at all. And it's not just turtles, it seems to be reptiles in general a lot of the times. But anyways, in here everything is still the same. We got the, uh, the nest box going strong, so we get a good shot of that from overhead. Um, got the UVB right here. Got the heat right there. Aqua Clear 110 still pumping. Uh, I had the 70, but the motor just crapped out on me, and. I've never had issues with aqua clear before, so 
I'm hoping it's an isolated incident, but I'll probably be adding another field to, to this tank soon because if they bring three turtles in here, even though they're small, the bio load is pretty heavy, and I do want to add some more fish. So right now there's a few feeders in there, and I just really have them in there to clean up the little bit, uh, excuse me, the little bits and pieces of the food that the turtles leave behind. Because they don't really seem to be fast enough to catch the fish. But if they do, it's no big deal. And moving along, if I turn around, my fourth and final enclosure with my male, sub-adult male, narrow bridged musk turtle. And he's cruising around doing his thing. All my turtles just ate. And this guy looks like he's not satisfied. But he'll be all right. And he's doing really, he's doing a lot better. He looks a lot better. His uh, skin and shell looks a lot better. I have no idea what they were feeding him before he came to me, but I doubt it was a proper diet because, you know, his, his skin and his shell just didn't look good at all, especially the, the, the carapace. But we are well along the way to, to mitigate that. As I said, he's looking a whole lot better. He's behaving a whole lot better. Seems to be acclimating very well to life here at the Turtle Essence. And this tank is also, has remained the same from before. It's still the same filter, same lighting, same basking area, even the same uh, driftwood and things like that. But this is gonna be the first enclosure that I do a full upgrade on. Uh, we will be getting rid of the 55 gallon and replacing it with a 75, possibly even a 90. And we'll be getting a uh, another FX6, and you know I'll be building a brand new uh, basking area and all that jazz. It's gonna look real nice. And when I do upgrade the enclosure, I, I will definitely be adding sand to this tank. I would like to find a uh, sand that is a little bit. Not, a, not as fine grain as what I previ previously used. I ended up using play sand from like Home Depot, but I might spend a little bit extra on the next batch of sand that I get so I can get exactly, exactly, exactly where I want. I'm not looking for anything. I'm definitely larger grain size than what I've used, but definitely smaller than like your average gravel. But yeah, that's going to be the, the the next upgrade. Stay tuned for that in the coming months. Hopefully, when that's all said and done, I'll, uh, I'll actually be trying to get my hands on a female. And I may attempt to house them together, but if not, I'll perhaps a tank divider situation or maybe even should... She'll maybe even get her own enclosure, but um, definitely want to get a group of these at some point. But yeah, don't want to make this video too long. I just wanted to throw a quick update out there just to let everyone know what's going on. Um, stay tuned for further updates. Definitely got some fun stuff planned. And um, once again, thanks everybody for watching. I appreciate the time. And until the next one. Happy Reptile Keeper. Peace.